Looking for hard historical evidence of Scotland's long love affair with football, wait you see this. In the 1980s, a precious piece of football history was discovered right here, and historian Nicola Wilson is letting me see it. This is a truly remarkable object, and I can't quite believe I'm getting to hold this. This is the world's oldest football. Nicola, when does this ball date from? So this football dates from the 1540s, so it's almost 500 years old. How did it survive that long? What's it made of? So this ball is actually made of leather, so it is cow leather on the outside, and internally it's a pig's bladder, and that's what gives it its shape and the size of the ball. Back then, football was quite a rough sport, much rougher than any old firm match I've ever seen. Broken bones, torn ligaments, and crippling injuries were very common and the public loved it. And like most things that ordinary folks enjoyed, it gets banned. In 1424, King James I decreed in law that no man shall play at the football. What a killjoy. But maybe there was a good reason. It would have been a rough form of the game, a mob sport, a proper rammy. There are still examples of this kicking about. This is an ancient game known as handball, which is played annually on the streets of Jedburgh between two teams called the Uppies and Doonies. It's said to have its origins in Scottish soldiers kicking the heads of dead English about after battle. King James II, III and IV also prohibited football in their times as well. People didn't listen, they loved the game too much, it was too exciting. People just played it anyway, including James IV, who purchased footballs just like these for Stirling Castle. So he was also not following his own rules. And just like the no ball game signs that tried to stop me playing football in my youth, some rules were meant to be broken. And if you think that was interesting, wait till you see where it was found. No, it wasn't in the games room because this place is full of surprises. This is the bedchamber of Mary, Queen of Scots, and the ball was found just up there, right above her bed. So we believe it was kicked into the rafters, probably by a member of the royal court. It got stuck there, and they've never attempted to bring it down. And then the room has been renovated, and it's been just left there. Wow. They reckon it was booted up there sometime in the 1540s, where it was covered over and remained for 300 odd years. It's quite befitting, I think, that the oldest football in the world was found in Scotland, where despite several attempts to scupper the game, its popularity would skyrocket.